Now, we have a regular feature on the show in which we reflect on celebrities and public figures who are going through a tough time. And we call this item, We Feel Your Pain. A couple of candidates today, and I've already got a lump in my throat. First up, globe-trotting former Foreign Secretary Dominic Raab, Whitehall's answer to Judith Chalmers, a man so tanned from his recent long holiday, he makes Donald Trump look pale by comparison. Well, Mr. Raab has been demoted to Justice Secretary. In fact, he's been given three jobs in what is ultimately a triumph of quantity over quality. He's also Lord Chancellor and Deputy Prime Minister, a role so nominal and insignificant they haven't bothered having one since Nick Clegg. I think that tells you everything you need to know. Deputy Prime Minister is a job as thankless as being Victoria Beckham's singing teacher or Sean Ryder's dentist. Look, Dominic Raab is a talented and clever guy and thought to be an assiduous and even workaholic minister. But it was a poor misjudgment to stay on holiday as the crisis in Afghanistan began to play out. He responded too readily to the siren calls of the sun lounger and the all-inclusive holiday buffet. I suspect he now has a touch of indigestion as he hands the keys to Chevening, the country house that goes with Foreign Secretary, over to Liz Truss. Perhaps she'll let him have the use of it every other weekend. Meanwhile, the appointment of Gavin Williamson to one of the top offices of state was a great example of equal opportunities and positive discrimination. Appointing an education secretary with no identifiable brains or common sense was a groundbreaking move for inclusivity. I've interviewed him a couple of times. He's a nice guy and probably unfairly vilified by the media. But yielding to the teaching unions over school closures and masks in the classroom rendered him about as useless as a broken ruler. And that's before we get to the A-level and GCSE grades fiasco. Oscar Wilde would say that messing up first time round in the summer of 2020 was unfortunate, but for it to happen again a year later is downright careless. He's now going to spend a lot more time with his family and may God help them. So, Gavin and Dominic, let me just say on behalf of all of our viewers here at GB News and indeed our panel, let's bring the panel in. It's been a really tough week. And on behalf of all of us, I assure you, we feel your pain.